There's this massive dragon-shaped bridge that was built uh, in uh, Vietnam, mm -hmm. and uh, the bridge is supposed to be symbolic. It's supposed to celebrate when uh, the North Vietnamese took hold of the area uh, during the final days of the Vietnam War, and uh, the dragon actually uh, has like fire coming out of its mouth, which is kind of cool. No, badass. It's super badass. <laughs> Look, you got you got to give the communists this. Okay, they've built a badass dragon bridge. Okay, mm -hmm. when I heard dragon bridge, I felt like. Oh, it maybe kind of looks like a dragon. It's in the shape. It's so yeah. No, 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 no. It's a dragon, we and have, it breathes fire. We have video, actually. Oh, so let's take a quick look at the fire-breathing dragon. Oh, look, there's the nearest. Yeah, I was going to say, Daenerys Targaryen's dragons, uh, they have really grown. Yeah. That, that uh, dragon was stormborn. Yeah. Does that bridge go over the narrow sea? Yeah. It's a little queasy, well, yeah. but it does. It's yeah. actually, at least to what I was wondering, um, that bridge, I don't know if it's used for crossing, walking, driving, it can't tell from driving. the video. Mm -hmm. How soon before that shit, something happens and something goes wrong and cars are on fire? It's yeah, gonna it happen. seems a little unsafe. Oh, the exploding tanks are gonna be happen. awesome. So, something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I hear you on that, but no, no, no. Look, there's, there's a one, I think it's badass, and I'm not gonna listen to, to naysayers like you, but there is an awesome irony here, right? Yeah. So it, it's built in a place where the North Korean, I'm sorry, the North Vietnamese won uh, huge battles, and, and it was part of uh, capturing the country, driving the dirty, uh, capitalists out, right? Mm -hmm. So, Anna, who built the bridge? Uh, it was Lewis Burger Group uh, from New Jersey. <laughs> How awesome is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Aha! We are celebrating driving the dirty capitalists out of Vietnam. Anyway, hey, Louis, did anybody call Louis Burger? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a guy from Jersey over here. We. We're, co we're communists. How the hell would we yeah. build a bridge that works and breathes fire? Yeah, we can't build that bridge, right? right. That's good. It's a funny point. <laughs> All right. So. Well, everybody's a winner. And by the way, in Vietnam now, Levi's, McDonald's, everywhere, everywhere. They love it. Do we it have turns a out we should have just invaded them with quarter pounder and cheese. Yeah. Would have saved a lot of lives and been a lot more efficient. Two words for you all. Cuba. Like, mm -hmm. we fought a war with these guys. Yeah. Right? We killed, I don't know, a million Vietnamese, maybe? I, yeah, I forget. I, mean, I don't a know. gigantic number, obviously. I mean, we lost 58,000 guys. We lost 58, 000 58, 000 guys. Americans. Um, those numbers are never equal, as we know. Right. We did all the bombing. Um, and now, like, okay, yeah, they're communists, but they have Levi's, they have McDonald's, we don't have an embargo against them. Like, it's just nonsense, and it just reminds me, you see that, that they had a company come in, an American company come in and build the bridge, because they're, I presume, in some ways, a responsible government, and they're like, well, we want to build this bridge, but we may not have the technical, uh, the, the engineering expertise to get this done, so let's hire someone who does have the engineering expertise to get this done. And meanwhile, you got Ileana ross Leighton and the other clown, uh, whoever it is, I can't even remember his name, uh, Lincoln diaz Ballard, Ballard, yeah. Ballard in, uh, in, in Miami, in South Florida, mm -hmm. the part of the Cuban-American National Foundation screaming bloody murder because Beyonce and Jay Z went to Cuba yeah. and danced and had a good time. Yeah. Like you know, and went by the way, if we take that, you're 100 percent right, Ben. And I hadn't thought of it that way. You know, obviously, embargo is the dumbest policy we have. It might be even dumber than the drug war. I mean, it's never, ever, ever going to work, you schmucks. If Cuba goes it's, down, it's, it's not it's just not going to work. It uh, it unworks. It, yeah, it, it literally. That's exactly it, yeah, right. Yeah. If we had taken the, the embargo down 30 years ago, by now Cuba would be a capitalist paradise anyway. You yeah. know, whether they technically call themselves communists as the Chinese and the Vietnamese do, they wouldn't be like North Vietnam. They'd be like, I'm sorry, they wouldn't be like North Korea, they'd be like Vietnam. And they, they'd be, we would have already won. They, they wouldn't be like North Korea or Vietnam, they'd be like Miami. I mean, <laughs> and they can call, you're right, they call themselves communists, they do things a little different. What do they love more than anything else in Cuba? At least boys, they love baseball. I mean, they don't even have, we don't even have the connections with Vietnam that we have with Cuba that would make this just a vibrant, that could make it a vibrant country that, yeah, it's technically communist and, yeah, does some shitty thing to dissidents, but ranks like, I don't know, 80th on the list of countries violating civil rights. And, you know, it was in... And, we, and we'd have the ability, of course, to actually pressure them yeah. to do better things by that, which we have no influence on now. Yeah, and, and Jay-Z made a good point about that. He's like, oh, I can't go to Cuba because it's uh, communist. He's like, who do you think made the mic that I'm right, holding? Right, right, yeah. China did. China? Communist. Yep. Okay, but we buy everything from China. That's perfectly acceptable. Yeah.